Hello guys, and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Omega Ruby. In this episode, we're gonna tackle this place. It's called the Trick House. So, before I start, if you wanna come join do the Trick House with me, you will have to have someone that knows a couple of moves, specifically Cut and Rock Smash. I think you also need Flash, but I also read that you can do without Flash. But anyway, the first room that we have. But first, we have to go in and figure out where we're being watched from. I don't know what the indication is in this game, I just know that you are being watched from here. Huh? <laughs> How did he know I can seal myself beneath this desk? You're sharp. In the original, it was a flash of light. So, yeah. Behold, for I am the greatest living mystery of a man in all of Owen. They call me the Trick Master. Ahaha, <laughs> glad to meet you. You, you've come to challenge my trick house, haven't you? That's why you're here, isn't it? Yes, it is. Consider your challenge accepted. Enter the scroll through enter the scroll there and let your challenge commence. I shall be waiting in the back. One more thing, I have to warn you. My tricks are quite difficult. Don't get lost. And we got a skip rope for our trouble. Now I'm really leaving. I shall be waiting in the back. So this episodes are gonna be hopefully not too long but might be a little bit too long because there's <sighs> there's six rooms and I kind of want to just spend two episodes in this, but I don't know. Anyway, so yeah, let's just keep using cut and if we can avoid battling people, maybe? No, we can't. The game's too smart for us. I hack and slash my way to victory with the cut we just learned. So basically, the way that you do this is obviously by gyms and stuff like that. You would, you would have to have the Dewford badge anyway to get to this place. Which means for a fact that you will be able to use Cut. Um, we could have done this, you know, like... Every time we finish the gym or something, I could have done it like that. But I wanted to keep it all in one. Because... I don't know what the, you know, what uh, the um, price is for this generation. I just know that in this generation in general, there is um, two less rooms than in Ruby and uh, Sapphire. So, yeah. So there's only six rooms for us. Ooh, a lava cookie. Nice. So there's only six rooms for us instead of eight rooms. Um... Obviously, I don't know if I'm gonna show them to you because, like, I don't have those games, you know? There's also that. Also, my arm's itchy. <laughs> I don't wanna make noises, like extra noises. But oh, whatever. Let's go after this Pokeball first. Oh, actually, we should have waited because we'll have to go through here anyway. I. <sighs> Maces aren't too difficult. I just like getting the items first, which. Makes it a little, you know, a little bit, not challenging, but annoying because then I have to, I always have to backtrack. Oh, I forgot to read what she said. I just know that she is a fighter, battle girl Korra. But with a C, not a K, so it's not the legend of Korra, plus Korra has th two R's, not three. Two R's and this one only has one. Do we have a sidekick move for conscious? No, we don't. And let's use a dark move. I don't remember. I I got the lowest spoiled by uh, Pokemon Sun and Moon. Cause to be honest, it's really nice to just like be able, you know, be told what is strong and what is weak. So yeah. New opposing metatype fainted. Nice, nice. We gained some some XP that isn't really much, which is why Conscious is ahead, because Conscious is the lowest level, and considering that we're gonna be encountering rather low-level people right now, it's better to do it this way. Also, yeah, you're basically forced to encounter everyone, unless you wanna go all the way back, 
I don't know if there's a reason for you to do that. I don't know if there's an item on the side. Like, we can look at it right now. There's not an item on the side. So, like, why why go all the way back, you know? I wandered into this weird house by accident. Oh, poor boy. Youngster Eddie. Oh, I'm sorry, Eddie. Your Nintendo will be in very good hands. Because Kenches will... 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 Well, yes. <laughs> um, so yeah, like Sun and Moon actually has spoiled me a little bit and to the point that I, I like knowing what my Pokemon are weak to and stuff, so... But yeah. Other way... Like, I like that ability anyway in Pokemon Sun and Moon because it's only after you have battled one of those Pokemon that it tells you the weakness. And for one of the uh, island challenges, I I think a lot of people had a lot of problems with it. But in general, one of the island challenges was very difficult. And I was like, wait, but how? And I thought that if you, even if you died, you wouldn't get to, you know, you wouldn't get told. No, you would get told because you had already seen the Pokemon, but no, you don't get told what the Pokemon's weak to, you have to memorize it. So, you know, that's actually pretty cool. Anyway, since we have defeated and gotten the code, let's go... Let's, let's go, Trick Master is wonderful, of course. The door was unlocked. Let's go. And before anything else, we got an expert belt. Wait, is that a Wii Balance Board? I think the Trick Master has a Wii Balance Board and a black Wii U. That would make sense for you. Hi, you've made it this far? Hmm, you're sharp. It took me all night to plant those trees. You are almost my equal in greatness by one, two, three, four places. Great, you've earned this reward. And we got taunt. So like, in general, I don't think it's bad to do this earlier. I just wanna, you know, scrub that smug smirk from your face. It's much too early to think you won. I'll make new tricks to stump you. I will. You may mock me only when you're done. Come back for the next exciting installment. And then he just... It's very exciting. So you just go over here. And you get teleported to, you know, the main room. So that's basically the trick house in a nutshell. If you had to... If you had done this before you got all of the gym badges, you would have to wait to get more of the gym badges. But because we already did all of them, we're being watched again. And I think it's here? No? Pre... I don't remember where they are, because like... Oh, there we go. Huh? <laughs> How did you know I concealed myself behind this tree? Sharp. We are super sharp. You, you've come to ch uh, come to challenge my trick house, haven't you? That's why you're here, isn't it? Yes, it is. Consider your challenge accepted. Enter through the scroll here and let your challenge commence. I shall be waiting in the back. So yeah, so you get the basic gist of it. Obviously, everyone is like every challenge is a very different theme. Like for example, this one, it's is rock smash, clickety clack, mechadol three am I. Do you feel confident? An escape rope. You'd better buy one. Uh, no. <laughs> you should buy one. I know, but I don't need one. Um, let's start by battling you. Heh, <laughs> boulders like the ones in this room. I can press a side with one finger. Yeah, but you need more than one finger for us, Black Belt Yuji. Ooh, Makuhita. I like Makuhita, actually. Um, I have a friend, I hope he doesn't mind me calling him a friend, but I have a friend that actually pronounces his name differently, and I don't know, I think it's really nice the way that he pronounces it. Because, like, everyone has problems with certain, obviously certain Pokemon pronouncing their names and stuff. Like, for example, Kyogre, I called Kyrogre for the life of me, and of course I probably already knew this, because I probably already told you. But I seriously thought it was Cairo. I could have sworn by whoever is watching over me that his name was Cairo. I don't know why Kai, but Rogue makes sense to me because it went 
rogue. It's like, you know, I don't know. That's what the, what that's what history told me. Um, so he he pronounces Pokemon names differently. For example, um, I really love how he pronounces the name for uh, Sableye. Um, he pronounces it Salabi. Like it's obviously he knows that it's not how you should pronounce it. But I don't know. Um, by the way, the friend that I'm talking about is obviously my friend Jeffrey, Midnight and Beyond, which you should, you know, focus and watch his videos. I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying, honestly. I want to make my own gym one day, so I'm studying how to set up traps here. Oh, that actually makes a lot of sense. School kid Georgie. Oh, Georgie! That's a cute name. Probably your name is Georgina, but Georgie as your nickname, I think that's... I think that's quite an amazing name for you. You're pretty cute. And you're shroomish? I'm sorry, it's pretty cute, but I have to get going with this trick house. And I kinda wanna show at the very least three areas, I think. Three areas would be nice. Um... Oh, I'm beautiful. Oh, this is so sad, guys. You guys, you guys know how attached I am to my Pokemon, and to be honest, beautiful eye is just—it's so sad. Also, I kind of wish that the beautiful eye Dust Ducks evolution line were by genders, but because I don't think that there's too much of a difference between a female beautiful eye and a male beautiful eye, didn't study battling enough. Oh, cutie pie. Another thing that I do want to mention is that there will be no wild Pokemon while, you, while in this area. So don't worry about like encounters and stuff. So like for example if you ask me why I haven't put a um, repel on it's because there's no encounters so don't worry about it. It's a crack boulder, yes. So yeah, basically I think everyone has been, but specifically me, I've been, ugh, I've been spoiled a lot by Pokemon Sun and Moon. I haven't finished it, I, I am um, level grinding because I obviously encountered a, I encountered a freaking tree stump in, in, a, in, in my adventures, so yeah, but that's fine, that's perfectly a-okay. And yes, I stayed there because I really wanna, I really wanna play all of them, you know. Ugh, how long must this crushing go on? My Pokemon and I are getting worn out by it. Yeah, mine too. My my Canches, my poor baby Canches. He's not a baby. My poor cute Canches is actually running out of PP for Shadow Ball, which is kind of sad. But. Hmm, I don't remember if that'll work on a dark type, so I'm just gonna use a dark, a dark type move. Um, and Cocknea. It'll probably hurt me. I don't know if it hurts me, I don't know, sometimes the battle things don't- Oh, Aaron. Aaron. I really like Aaron, actually. He, he looks like a very cute Pokemon. Um, though I don't know if the two black holes that below his eyes are his nose or not. I don't know, that's one of the things that confuses me a lot about it. And Ranger Sebastian was about defeated. I'm worn out. I'm all worn out now. I actually wonder why we get whited out, teleported to the Pokemon Center and they don't. Hmm. Obviously, it's easier for us to be teleported to the Pokemon Center and not for them, because then they'd have to design a whole new thing. When I heard this, there was a strange house, I had to check it out. Yeah, me too. Me too. Sophia, I really like your name. Actually, I really like your outfit. Maybe after Courtney, I should cosplay as a Pokemon Ranger. That would be real cute. And I have like a couple Pokemon that I can use, like Pokemon plushies that I can use. So that'd be really cute too. Frick! What is Swablu that it that is not effective? That it, what is Swablu? And I cannot click on Swablu to see what Swablu is, you know, what typing Swablu is. Like I told you guys, I am um, I was very spoiled by freaking Sun and Moon. Roselia. No, I don't want to switch Pokemon. 
Kuncha still needs the XP. <laughs> Uh, conscious. You and your level 41. There's a couple of things we should probably do, but uh, I need to level Brain, and that's the biggest thing. Bye bye, Ranger Sophia. I discovered a tough trainer! Yay. You're so cute, though. I really like, like, the hair on your bangs and stuff like that. I thought it was cute. I thought your new design, the Pokemon Ranger design, is actually pretty cute. Though, there's like, oh, and in Sun and Moon, the, the sun designs are pretty adorable too. And I don't know. I'm just probably like rambling on because, like, I really like that game. And we got a Rage Candy Bar again. Again. Oh my god. I think my voice is cracking a little bit, but never mind that. I have. I adore Trick Master. Jesus Christ. Um, I have my glass of water here, so it's all good. Before we talk to him, let me let me do a couple of things here. Um, specifically, use a Lepa Berry <laughs> and Shadow Ball. And then, um, there we go. That's better. It's not that I'm afraid that we'll have to battle the Trick Master that I don't want to forget. So yeah. Hi, <laughs> you've made it this far? Hmm, sharp. It took me all night to shove in those boulders. You're almost my equal in greatness by one, two, three places. Great, you've earned this reward, and we got a heart stone. Not a heart stone or a heart stone, a hard stone. Just in case. Scrub the smug smirk from your face, it's much too early to think you've won. I'll make new tricks to stump you. I will. You may mock me only when you're done. Come back for the next exciting installment. And if I'm not wrong, the next one requires Flash? Um, hmm. Should we? Let's see if the Pokemon of ours can learn Flash. It's kind of stupid. No, I didn't mean to do that. I meant to do bag and then um, order by name. That way we can just go. Wait, I thought we ordered by name. No, we ordered by number. That way we can just go to Flash. Damn it! Well, it's a TM now. So, um, which is a TM that we have that you have learned? Oh, dazzling gleam. Yeah, we can we can use flash and then dazzling gleam, obviously. Um, uh, yes. Which move should be forgotten? Dazzling Gleam. Which is very hard to say that because, like, I mean, Dazzling Gleam is such a good move specifically for Belle, you know. But we'll teach Dazzling Gleam again. Please don't let me forget about it. Um, so yeah. When we go to the next challenge, you're being watched, but where from? How did you- oh, in this dresser, okay. I'm, I'm glad we found him quickly. You, you've come to challenge my trick house, haven't you? That's why you're here, isn't it? Yes, it is. Consider your challenge accepted. I mean, yeah. Let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Yeah, let's go in. Oh, we really didn't need Flash, but whatever. Make the doll 3 am I? Do you feel confident in the escape rope? No. You should buy one. No, thank you. Um, I mean, we already taught Flash, so... We already, we already taught Bell Flash, so let's just use Flash anyway. That way we can get, you know... We can go through this puzzle quite quickly. I know there's... I'm just trying to figure out if there's items around. So, yeah. Sweetie, no talk to me. Who is the trick master? Uh, some weird guy. I don't know. Every once in a while, he just creates this last Robin. I really like like the bracelet things that they have on her, on their hands. I don't know. <laughs> Wait, if there's a last, is there a dude? I don't know. I'm being stupid right now. Uh, just Shadow Ball Oddish? 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 
Gladish has a cute Pokemon. I kind of really want a plushy of Gladish. Hmm. Like, if I knew how to crochet feathers, I would totally crochet feathers. Uh, not feathers, leaves. Like, copper leaves like those. I mean, I don't think it's that difficult. I just, I don't think that I've had the patience in my brain to do that. It's kind of annoying. But whatever. And Goldeen's so pretty. I don't understand why Seeking is actually not that pretty. But whatever. Conscious grew to level 42. Congratulations, Conscious. You've done it. Yay. We've done it. Um, and there's nothing around here, right? No. There's nothing here. Wait. Is there nothing there? No. Okay. Oh, look, a double battle that we could skip. Welcome, Challenger. As a servant of the Trick Master, I will repel all attacks like a shield. So you are a servant of the Trick Master. Ace, do a pike and shield. Oh. Prevent a numble. Okay. So it's Kanchas and Mitzi. Okay, then. Mitzi can deal with Nummel, obviously. So... Let's, let, yeah, let's just faint attack Caravana, because I don't remember, I don't remember much, uh, Waterfall, no, no, yeah. I mean, they're both level 42, so this is good for both of them. Uh, Rough Skin, ooh, you didn't one shot, Conscious? What, what's up with you, Conscious, darling? It's super effective. Also, like, there's been a couple of things that I've been annoyed at in the new game, and I understand why they do it that way, but I don't want to talk about it in that sense, so I'm going to talk about it in this way. In, in this way. You guys will probably understand after I say things. Um, after I say what I have to say. Because, like, I can think, right? I can speak. Speaking is what I do for a living, probably. Um, well, in general, what I was, what I'm saying is that, like, I understand why just using one, um, you know, like, one item per Pokemon makes sense. Because you don't want a lot of Pokemon being able to ha hold a berry, you know, that weakens one type of attack. And then hold a, ooh, a Lumion Skelet, and then hold their, uh, Mega, Mega Stones, you know. Because then that would make the game a little too easy. I don't know. Let's not go there just yet. Let's go over here. Wait, no? That's not how you do that? Wait. Shit. Did it, am I lost? Jesus Christ, this puzzle is actually, you know, confusing me a little bit. Okay, so that's a wall. So we can go through here. We can't go through there, clearly. Okay. So I'm guessing I have to defeat all of the trainers to get that? Yeah, let's go for it. It's dark, so dark even though we're inside. Actually, it's not dark. I already used Flash. I don't know if that works for you. Skull Kid Head. These rolls. Um, uh, Makuri rolls. Look at rolls. I wonder if this rolls actually knows any moves. That would be interesting. You see Shadow Ball. Shadow Ball rolls. Sorry, I had to take a, a drink of water and. My throat is actually not feeling too well. Like, I'm back home and the allergies are just so, like, stupid. Oh, so that's how it is. Yep, that's so. This, this guy, this guy is, this guy is so cunning, you know? Have we found a scroll? We don't know what it says, but do we really need to? Like, okay, yeah, there's only one straight line for this. Okay. The secret trick master is cool. I mean, not really, but whatever. Let's go talk to you. 
<laughs> you made it this far? Hmm, you're sharp. Took me all night to board up the windows to make the room dark. You're almost by equaling greatness by one, two places. Great, you've earned this reward. Oh, trick room. If I'm not wrong, trick room is actually very good for um, very slow Pokemon. With, I don't remember, it's like, I think trick room is like if your Pokemon's very slow, it goes first? I don't know, let's actually look at this. Because that's actually very interesting. Uh, okay, yeah, it's down there. The user creates a bizarre area in which the slower Pokemon get to move first for the five for five turns. Yeah, so it's very good for certain Pokemon that are super slow, you know. And if you're gonna use go for one of those, gyrable having having gyrable in your team would actually be really good. Anyway, it's gonna be it for today. In the next episode, we will continue the trick house. Thank you guys for joining me. Bye!